All right, guys. So I've been working on summer walls for probably five hours. Um, I've asked the rods. I don't know how accurate they are, so I don't even want to want to tell you guys what the rod said because I just don't know how accurate they are. I'm not trying to go in a wrong direction. Um, like I always say, they're hit and miss. And I'm trying to think of where I was pulled to in summer walls reading or went in her. Um, when I was used to look at her map all the time, because like everything else, I'd go and go, go back and go back, right? So tonight, I decided to go back onto the map and see where I'm pulled to, um, because I'm trying to recognize my pools. Um, like I said, location's super hard for me, but I noticed if it's an area that I keep going back to, it's important. Now, when I go back over my Summer Wells readings, I like to go to the first one because it was before I knew anything. After that, I think everything's a fucking mess. Um, honestly, just going through it, I don't know. It's like I was shown many different things. I always kind of felt she was close to the house, but at the very beginning, very first reading, I felt like she was far. So I'm wondering if she was close and, and then moved at some point, and that's why I'm kind of getting both. It's it's very weird feeling, and I don't know how to interpret it. Um, as I always say, like psychic media impressions are really hard to figure out. They're really hard to understand. And we always get past, present, future. We get things surrounding it. So, you know, her, maybe she did almost have an accident at Warrior State Park. Um, I remember thinking at one point she was in the water. I don't feel that now. So whether I was picking up on another case with interconnects back then, I, I've come a long way since these first readings. Um, and Ted's, I mean, I had it here and, and I had a lot of problems over people being assholes. So I ended up putting it on members, but you know, when he's showing me an area, I don't know how close that is. Um, but I went back to the very first reading and, or the very first couple readings. And I don't know how many of this, I don't know how much of this stuff I was led by. Um, by being on the map and stuff this is one reason why now I don't like to go on the map. And we're talking this is like three years ago. So, again, I'm not perfect and I can just go by what I see. And back then I think I was trying to figure everything out and I kind of have a better idea now. Um, but one thing that I noticed was like a running theme was railroad tracks, the river, a bridge, um, like a gnat, like a... Some kind of park, either a national park or preserve, something of that. The letter P came in. Um, 23. <coughs> um, sorry. And also brown old buildings falling down. I kept seeing that. Um, waterfalls came in. And again, I don't know. I mean, there was a darkness and an echo. So I don't know. I, it, everything looks weird on the maps. I can't tell where anything is on the maps. Um, what I posted before, I thought it was interesting that the rods led me to the same place a line would go. And that's the direction that the rods keep taking me. But I can't, I have to kind of go by my readings too, because I kind of have to trust them more. And the first reading before I knew there was railroad tracks, that's what I got. So I'm wondering about Laurel, Laurel Run Park. Because if we go back to all the times that I used to go over the maps, I kept going back that way. I'm not saying she's in the park, but she could be close by it considering that's an area they know and are familiar with allegedly um and again this is just thoughts i'm throwing out there don't say like oh the psychics luke's saying she's for sure there blah 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 i'm just saying this wouldn't be a bad place to check and all of a sudden i'm having a hard time breathing and i don't feel good and i've been on the map for hours and i'll show you kind of like the lines run through there for our astrology now, the reason why I want to follow the astrology and what I'm trying learning from every case. And Carly's going to teach me how to do mapping myself. So at least I can use the mapping and reference it to my feelings. Um, because I'm still trying to get the feelings down. I get pulled in all directions for different reasons. Sometimes I feel stronger. Sometimes I don't. Um, sometimes it's hard to tell where those feelings are coming from, which is what I always tell you guys. Like, I don't always know why I feel what I feel. Um, and it could be just that it was you know, important to them or whatever. But there's a couple things I was getting to like randomly when I was doing the rods. So I keep getting a windmill and I swear that came in a reading. I probably haven't gotten to it yet. Um, but I keep getting that. Not necessarily a windmill farm. It could be one or two or three. I've seen like sometimes they're like in groups like that and that's it. Or sometimes or it could be like belonging to someone's farm. Um, or 
you know, on not like farm or area, whatever they're on. I'm also hearing countryside, so I don't know what that is. And I remember seeing um, in one of the readings, and I didn't go over yet, but I remember it coming through like an alive or something was like electrical towers. There's a reason that summer's coming back up. So I just want to throw that out there because before Elijah was found a couple days before that, um, I was getting references to him and I started trying to locate him again or go back. I was going to go back through all the readings again. And which I, if I had him, I would have probably been like, okay, it's there in front of our face the whole time. I think it is with summer too. Um, it's like birds, musky river, train tracks, abandoned building, outbuilding, green, um, river, natural park or national park preserve something of that sort um clearing grass at the building um dark so she's maybe in a dark area could be buried it could be like a holler kind of thing or like thrown down something that it always feels like she might be thrown down something i don't know what's out there so i can't say the one thing i can't seem to find is like any type of windmills and those keep repeating tonight there's some sort of pull off or um I was getting randomly, and I don't know if it belongs here because it came in randomly, um, like a rest area or rest stop or a place that you pull off. Um, and it, I, right now there's from me like a bridge. So this would be maybe she's like before a bridge. I don't feel like she's far off the road. It feels like a random area. I'm not saying she, like again that she's in the park. It feels like she could just be close to it because the one thing that was what that kept coming in in the readings regardless was... Um, and I gotta go get, get around and get to bed. So my whole day isn't screwed tomorrow. But, um, one thing that came in was the river and it twisting and turning and woods and train tracks. Um, I think a tunnel came in too, which I think is over there as well. And this is the direction I always go. Now it's not the direction the rods are taking me. So that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I think my feelings are I think I need to fill the pool instead of the rods. Like I can use them just to see what they take, where they take me and if it matches anything. But I think I really need to do that. Um, let's see if there's anything else I was getting. A um, lot of birds, 20 to 30 minutes. Wooden stake with a flag. A sign with a dirt road before the road. Um, again, preserved train tracks. Like, if you keep going past the river, you turn into a town. That's one that, like, if you cross the bridge, that kept coming in. And outskirts, forest, letter P, red, um, 5433, 27, pond. Um, I mean, all this stuff repeated. There was a reference to, like, a construction area. Like, I don't know if it's, like, a housing area or something. Because they, I guess they showed, like cement um with graffiti the h a train trestle i don't really know what that is um and again it's like train trestle it's like on the right side before the bridge or something like that um and the this broken down building i kept seeing king i got and i don't know how much of this actually was again um led back then because this was i was on the maps and everything before i would finish my readings and i just i don't know um but the log cabin seems prevalent that that kept coming in brown signs kept coming in um trees grass secluded horses running embankment and again construction with a concrete foundation so it could be like a new housing project or something like that um a snake which can be symbolic for the river i'm not really sure uh, and so that was what, how far I got on that. And I always say, I want to go back to my first readings, but I just want to show you where like the astrology goes through in case you haven't looked at it in a while. Um, um, so the rods are, you know, they're telling me a completely different direction. I don't even know if I recorded any of that. Um, it's okay um i you know i've been doing this Shh. Ah, sorry the dogs are working outside i've been doing this along like for hours so i think i'm just done but there are a lot of lines that go through there
And like I said, I've noticed that a lot of our cases, the lines are going through. And it's usually a spot I've been to or I've been back to. It's, I, This is the direction I always wanted to go. Um, this is where the train tracks are. I don't know if there's any anywhere else where you would also see those. And it's like the three, the three thing windmill. That's what I keep seeing. I don't know the reasoning for it. Um, but I don't know. I've been doing this for multiple hours and I think I'm just done with it. I can't tell which way I'm going or which direction or anything, but according to the reading, if I, if I got that stuff before I looked at the map, you know, with the waterfall and the buildings and stuff like that, like it would put us in this area if they knew it. I'm um, not saying she's exactly in the park, but she could be very close to it. Um, I don't know if there's caves out there. I don't know why I'm seeing, not like, it might not be literal caves. It might be just like, you know, sometimes little places you can explore. Um, I'm also getting that for some reason. I don't really know why. Um, but I feel really sick, honestly. So, um, I'm gonna have to break from doing this tonight. I, I'm afraid to do another reading on it for the simple fact that I've already been on the map so much. I know too much. I, I keep getting, like, in her reading versus um, Ted's. And then my beginning readings, like I always say, the, the, the most accurate are the beginning because I haven't got a chance to do anything. So the first reading put us further away. Um, I was going to go back. To, there are other readings I need to look at. And I'll see if there's any, like, clues in there. Because I think the clues are right. It's just I'm having a hard time telling exactly how far she is. But the biggest thing is, is and she may have been moved at some point. Like, that. that's another thing. But the biggest thing is, is I do keep getting, I've always gotten pulled that direction. So if we're going back to the beginning and the places I always go back to, this is an area I always go back to. Um, so what I've learned in my cases is, is whenever I... Like, it's usually a spot where they're found, where we've been to multiple times in the area. Um, and the fact, and I'm noticing, like, if I have that plus the astrology, it's like a double click for me. Like, okay, I'm being pulled here, but the astrology also goes here. Also, we've noticed that, you know, um, they have been found really, really close to the lines. So, and the line has run through. It has, it's not in an area where it really stops. It's gone through. So the lines are accurate. It's not the end though, but it's, but that's what I've learned from the, th the last three that have been dead on. Um, and you know, could, I mean, amazing job on her end. And, um, so just saying, uh, I think that's about it for now. Um, I have to go through my other readings still. And still see if there's any other ideas, you know, that are coming through. Um, but I am getting, like, a tunnel right now, though. I don't know if it's, like, a train tunnel or what that is. Um, but, again, I'm afraid to kind of go into a reading with her and kind of try to see the area just because I, I kind of already have feelings and thoughts on it. And I might do that later on if I feel the pull to. I'll, I'll go wherever I feel pulled to. Um, just know that like, you know, this case is really confusing for me and I let a lot of things like I went into the reading already knowing things and having an ideas like from what I've been on the map or whatever and I think it, it might have you can put it into the reading. You know, you can see it. Um, and not know if it's coming to you or from you. Because that's something I've tried to stay away from. But, like I said, I always get pulled back to this area and back to this area. And again, back then, it interconnects and stuff. Um, I just, I don't feel like she's, I don't feel she's in water, though. Like, I mean, she could be, and that's maybe why they're checking the water. But I just keep getting, like, a, a field, um, woods next to a road um and i think next to that road are telephone lines um there's windmills in a vicinity somewhere somewhere there's windmills in a vicinity um and i'm hearing like dirt trails like there may be dirt trails um I don't know. I'm kind of struggling. So, I don't know. 
but just now I'm back trying to figure, trying to locate summer, even though her, her, her Saturn is in retrograde, which is not a good place for a body body to be because Saturn is literally your bones in your body. And that's not a good place for it. Um, I need to get off here and like get around and stuff, but let me see one thing. I get it around real quick, but I wanted to pull like some cards real quick and see what we have here. See if anything helps or rings a bell. If I get any more pings off of stuff. Um, I don't know though, because I feel like super jacked up. Um, so we know that it happened in the home, right? So remember, the cards can be places that things happen, things that are around on the way, um, you know, in the area, because you know, we have to go towards the river. I guess. I mean, I don't have a creek card. It could be a creek card, but river, mountains, crossroad, which can also be kind of a bridge, but a crossroad. Um, it's interesting. No, this is not the one, but crossroad. Um, the church. So there could be a church nearby. Desert, which can be just a sandy area or sand road. Again, um, underground see i get the private property card with her all the time but that could be any sort of private property there could be fire involved hollow earth can be a cemetery it can be caves which is interesting i was just seeing caves it could be something of that sort this rocky type area that looks like this um boat would be like near water right portal she did vanish but i also can take that as water there could be a beach nearby, and that's any sort of beach. So, lake beach, pond beach, beach next, you know, sandy area next to a freaking river, um, water supply, and neighborhood. They have buried. There could be a school in the area. Vehicle was used. Uh, proper burial again. This could be a public area that, and she might have been stored, like, moved later. Sexual intentions, which we already know. In nature, uh, she lived in the basement in the home, so I find that interesting. Uh, frozen water, so there could be an area where water freezes. Um, and she could get, like, I always feel like I'm dropped down in a dark hole. So I don't know if that's, like, a mine, a well, uh, what it is. But it feels like I'm dropped down into this dark something. And there could be, like, some sort of water. Now, it could be also buried in a deep hole with water where water, create like, you know, or there could be water somehow where if it gets wet, overflows, whatever. It's, like, in water random area, but we also got buried. So, depending on where she's buried at, if it's a wet area. Um, and it doesn't mean, like, deeply buried. It can be just covered um, really well. Or, you know, covered in a spot. Because I keep seeing... The reason why I'm not sure she's in water... Like, I'm not thinking she's in water. Even though I know that we said that years ago. Um, and that could have been a different case or whatever. I already explained that. But I keep seeing, like, skull in the middle of the woods. like, But in a clearing. So there might be a similarity to, like, where Elijah Boo was found. Um, like kind of like in an area like that or something of the sort um because i get they're referencing him now now that we know where he was allegedly um okay okay we got a few interesting cards here so we have man-made disaster so this was you can take this as like um this was something by that was man-made disaster i mean something that happened in that way but this is interesting so we have travel but secret from the home so secret travel from the home that's how i'm taking those secret travel from the home okay water neighborhood boat so this is an area where there's boats a road again i just mentioned a tunnel so i find that interesting because i just talked about that power supply and these are the things i was talking about with the three things on them it can it can also be the other kind of power supply 
apply. I'm also getting those along the side of the road, but I'm getting specifically these, and I it could be just like one or two. I don't. That's something that's been repeating all night, and I don't know where these are because I'm not from there. Okay, with the field. I always struggle with her location, guys. I mean, you know, sometimes they're... And it's always so fucking obvious whenever they're found. Sorry my language, but it is. Like, Elijah's... I kept going to the Ring of Fire in that area, like, over and over. And it was... it. You know, now that we look at it with the quarry and everything back in the readings, if I would have went backwards, like, I would have realized it. Same thing with Dylan. If I would have went backwards, I would have realized it. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to learn from those cases and follow and go now. But I just struggle with her. But we have inside natural disaster so there may have been some sort of flooding or something like that and then outer space i find interesting because of the planetariums right there but it could also be a place where you see a lot of stars like an opening where you could see the sky that sort of thing um these are my new these are my new those are my new cards i actually kind of yeah decided to, okay i'm gonna try one more thing i don't know i don't know if this is helpful you know, so we can go, you know what, something else I'm getting is, like, smoke, like, um, from an industrial area, that's usually what that is, or anywhere you can see smoke from, um, so I'm kind of seeing that with, like, the, the long, those long pipes, I, I don't know if there's an, and that can be, like, again, it's just giving us a, a direction, an area, something of that sort, um, as I'm shuffling, there's something about Dawn's work, too. I don't know if it's, like, in the direction of that or in an area of that. Um, or one he, place he used to work. I don't know where he used to work at. Um, um then there's also, I'm getting a freaking windy road, too. Um, I think she was stored for a period of time. Because I, I keep feeling like maybe she's been, she was, like, closer to the house or by the house. And maybe that's why I got that at some point and then moved later. I don't understand that. Um, feels like an area that was familiar to them or that he would pass or go by. It's almost like between Laurel and his work. I don't remember where his work is to look it up and see if we have any lines there. So if anyone wants to send me that, um, that would be helpful. Okay, I got some weird feelings with this. Okay, so damp and drainy realm. So a place where that's like wet. May even be actual mushrooms there. Um, wet area. Birthplace of dreams. So, place that. I don't know where she was born at. I don't know if that has anything to do with this. But birthplace of dreams, maybe. Some place she was happy at. Some place someone was happy at. We have, um, look at nautical journeys. So, this could also be journey, but this could be another boat situation. I think boat can be symbolic as well. Bathroom, there may be something out in the bathroom. This can also be water again, desert. Um, so again, like a sandy area close by, there could be a fuel station or a convenience store on the way. A bank, this could literally be like a river bank, too. I, I kind of take that as both sometimes. Things can have multiple meanings. There may be some sort of government building or government area, government property, something like that. An airport. Um, there may have been something that happened again in the living room or a comfortable space, uh, living space, family gatherings, um, maybe a place they, they did family gatherings at, buy a place they did family gatherings at, so that's interesting. Another crossroads, so uh, she's definitely near a road. This can be multiple paths, turning point, divergent roads, so she, there could have been multiple ways there, a turning point, and like literal roads. And I keep seeing a curve. So I don't know if that's like a curve in the river or a curve of the road or I'm not really sure. Um, this is interesting. Place of reminiscence. So there's a childhood reflection, a place of remembrance, a place of childhood memories. So a place that there was childhood memories at. Um, and again, the forest. So wooded area. Um, there may be some sort of flowers nearby. Um, 
this is interesting because they were gardening allegedly. So this could be also that. But um, it could be that there's like blossoming flowers near her too. A church might be relevant as well. Again. Um, parking lot. It's an interesting church parking lot. I don't. This is what I was trying to think of grassland. Um, because when I was seeing the. The. I guess it's a turbine, right? Is that what's called like not a windmill, a turbine? I don't I just heard that. So when I saw that it was like grassland and I keep seeing like an open area like between the woods or in the middle of the woods. Or also like a grassy, it's like it's like it's like road, it's like river, road, wooded, grassy, wooded, like grassy fields. Like that's how I keep seeing it. Um, there might be a cemetery nearby. Court and jail is interesting. And the hospital I find interesting because I don't know. Didn't Candace go to the hospital? I think she might end up going back. She, I don't feel like she's healthy. There's something with her heart that's coming in. And I'm concerned that she might she might say something if something happens to her and she's like in the hospital and she's really sick or something like that. I hate to say that. She might say something about what happened at that point because I think that her grief is really her grief and guilt are really taking a toll on her body and on her heart. Um, but at the same time, like she doesn't want to take accountability because she's not all there. Allegedly, um, this is all alleged remember entertainment purposes only. Um, so I'm getting this in relation to her. Unfortunately, it could be either of them, but I'm getting in relation to her. And then also like amusement park, thrilling rides, carnival atmosphere. Um, so yeah, I'm also getting, like, crevices, too. Like, you know how sometimes, like, I understand there's rolling hills and there might be, like, gullies or, um, I don't know if they'd be called, like, gullies, ravines, like, you know, crevices, like, in between, like, like, rocky crevices. It could be something about that. Like, she could be in a rocky crevice or next to a rocky crevice, um, because, again, I always feel like it's dark. It's, like, extremely dark, um, dark and kind of damp where I'm at. And that could, I know that could be multiple things. But I, again, I keep being pulled over by that Laurel area. So it might, because of the train tracks and everything, it might be over there. I'd be curious if that's on the way to work. Because there's something about his work that's always come in. And I'm not saying like she's right by the work, but maybe on the way to work. If anybody knows where that is. So, um... I don't know. I hope this is helpful. I wanted to pull a few cards. People from the area might know. I, unfortunately, everything on the map looks stupid and I can't tell what it is. Um, and I know I kept mentioning abandoned buildings and stuff. So. I've been feeling lately that, like, that might be why Dawn allegedly knows where she is. Is because, like, he's the one that took her. I don't know if Candace would have been in the right state of mind. I kind of feel like maybe Candace wasn't in the right state of mind after all. Everything that happened. Um, I mean, it feels like my head is hurting again. I gotta get around. Um, this case has been bugging me tonight for some reason. And I keep seeing like someone stumbling across like a skull and bones. And I don't know if it's summer or not. It's It's very weird. Um, but I feel like it's going to be a random area off a road. It might be by the Laurel place. It's almost like by that place between like there and like the railroad. Like it, that's what I keep getting. But I'd be curious if anybody knows any fields that have like the, um, those freaking turbines, those keep coming in, but it's like maybe one or two or three. It's not like a wind, it's not like a windmill farm. It's different than that. Like, and you'd have to be in the area to see it, but it's like, that is coming in very strongly right now for some reason. And it's something that I haven't been able to let go of kind of all morning. Or all, not all morning. Well, it is morning, but all day. Um, so I'm kind of like basically what I feel, what I'm getting of what I feel 
is again, this was something that happened in the heat of the moment that was out of control. And I always see allegedly that Candace is kind of going a little nuts on her. Do I, I don't ever feel, I feel Summer was running away from her barefoot at the time, but I don't ever see like Summer running away and getting lost. It doesn't come across that way. I could be completely wrong on that, but I, they always show me the same thing. And going back to her astrology chart, that's in the, that's in there as well. Um, and it's almost like I'm stored somewhere for a period of time till it's like, it's like, there's something about um, Don coming home from work at some point, either early, he may have been there or right after. And then it's like, we're panicking. We've got to figure out, you know, what we're going to do and where we're going to put her and et cetera, et cetera. And I feel like then a plan is devised and I get three adults. So I, I want to say, um, I want to say that the grandma knows something like she knows something, but I think she's protective of her daughter because she lost her other daughter. She knows, she knows there's more that she knows. And I think she's let it slip from time to time. Um, so that's, that's kind of coming and it's all alleged again. Um, this is just psychic medium impressions, visions that I'm getting random things. So like, don't take it as fact. I always tell people that. So, um, cause I don't want to accuse anybody of anything. I could totally misunderstand shit, but it's almost like there's the way that it comes across is things that happen prior to that. It's almost like a spiral of events. Things that happen prior to that, like her at, at, um, Warrior State Park. I think Summer did have some sort of accident there or almost drowned or something like that. Like that, that part of my rating could be right in the like something happened or she was in the water too much or something like that. Um, because I do, I am like kind of getting that still where I've either taken in a lot of water or an accident almost happened or something where not that she passed away, but something like, it's almost like she was one of her exit points, but it wasn't so either she, she caught herself or she was caught. Like it was proven that she got home allegedly um, supposedly. And then when I'm at the house, I always see like her running, like her running, um, like her trying to run away from mom. Like there's some kind of something that happens. There's a reference to like her grabbing my arm or I'm summer. Okay. My arm being grabbed. I feel like my arms being grabbed. Um, I had done something. I, I messed something up. I did something. I did something wrong. I need to go back to the astrology chart for that because there's some weird stuff that happened that I think everybody's aware of. And they keep also taking me to the man that used to live with grandma. So I don't know if she he knew something or was involved in the goings on around there. But I again, there's there's a trafficking of, of narcotics or things like that. And it's around the kids. And that came in the reading, I think. But I also always kind of felt a little high with Summer. So I don't know if they drugged her and whatnot as well. I think that comes in too in the in the astrology chart. I can't remember. But it's almost like there's this, this impulsive, violent moment that happens like outside. And it's like I see Candace standing, allegedly, Candace saying over summer and then it's like the grandma walks up and then it's like we got on the phone and we call they have to devise a plan she ran off I think in her own way Candace loved her as much as she could but there's a jealousy there there's a also like a like a barrier there and I remember I remember channeling summer and getting like mom you can just speak up like you just need to admit what you've done that kind of thing I forgive you I get that kind of feeling but it's like also, um, like she goes back to like her house in a way was a prison. And when she was outside and with the animals and stuff, she felt free. But there's, there's a reference and I can't breathe all of a sudden, but there's a reference to again, the basement. And I like, I don't know if she was ever there or something happened there. I get like, there's a bunch of stuff. We can go back to my readings. I'm sure a lot of it is still validated, still, still is accurate. And I'm just summarizing kind of what I'm feeling now. What I'm getting. This is not an all right. This is just stuff that's coming to me. Um, and it plays along with the astrology chart. Like something violent happening just out of nowhere. Like, like that. 
like just something like really quick, like out of control, like happening. There's reference to her head. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. I can't breathe for some reason all of a sudden right now. Um, and I've been like that for most of the night when I've been working on this. And I'm telling you this about driving me crazy. I've got to get off here and get things done. I'm going to be worthless tomorrow or today. But, um, and it's like, I swear that they put her like in the back of a truck or there's something to reference to the truck. I keep seeing that. Like I'm in the back of the truck. I'm covered up at some point, maybe when the cops came, maybe they stored her for a while until everything was clear while the cops were there. And then they took her like, cause there's a reference to the property and her being on the property for a period of time. Cause I've always kind of got the property and I'd wondered, you know what I mean? And there's a reference to like, I don't know if this is a well or what this is that I feel like I'm dropped down into. I don't know if it's a crevice as a well, whatever. It feels like it's wet and dark. Um, but I'm getting a reference to Windy Road as well. I'm trying not to let anything play into what we just talked about at the, at the area. That's why I'm saying it's hard because I've already been on the map so much. It's hard to keep my, like, know what's coming to me and not, not from me. Um, And it's almost like I know the perfect place. I know the perfect place. So. I don't know. That, I didn't mean to go into all this. But that's that's kind of what I've got. I don't know. If you're from the area, maybe you know. Yes, I know that Ryan, um, Ryan goes and looks and everything. I don't like to send people on wild goose chases. Just if anything fits from this area. And I don't like to say, oh yeah, she's here. Oh yeah, she's there. I'm not trying to do that. Like, that's not what I'm trying to be like. But it's hard to, like, we don't know unless we look. But it's hard to also go to exact area. And he has the astrology chart. So he can look at that astrology chart anytime and go look at it. But it seems that the lines run through there and everything's kind of pointing that direction. And so I'm just wondering. It feels like she's off a road, very close to a road like that, that I can hear cars. That was in the previous readings, I remember. But I've been getting that a lot tonight. Like, and a lot of times people are like not far off a road. Like it's like, it's like road, it's like water, road, curves, wooded, clearing area, wooded, more, more clearing. Like it's like wooded and grass and stuff like that mixed. So, I don't know. I'm getting a headache. I feel tired now. I gotta get things done. But thank you guys for being here, for listening to this rambling weird video that I just made. I'm not used to making them like this, so I don't know. Maybe things are evolving. But like I said, I always want to try to just put out what I see, hope that the puzzle pieces fit, go back to the first reading, hope that the puzzle pieces fit. Um, this is a direction I always do feel pulled to, and I have feel pulled to in the past. I, past, I remember going in this area a lot in the past. So, remember... What I've noticed from locations is it's always areas we've always already been before multiple times, which this is a spot that I have been to multiple times. Um, and the astrology lines go through it. So that would make kind of sense. Um, and I'm trying to follow more of my clues and not let things lead me away and not be like, okay, it's been searched, just leave it. Because I've noticed multiple times we say, um, you know, it's already been searched. Like, I think there was a live, we were talking about Elijah, we were talking about that area with Serenity Lake and all of that and the farm and stuff and the Neptune line. Like we were talking about that in the live and I think this guy named Chuck was going to go look there and he asked to search the private property and he was told no because there was cameras everywhere and there's no way they could have gone on on there. So, you know what I mean? And I just found out about that. I know we were searching that area. So, I let other things take me away from areas where people tell me it's been searched or they can't be there, yada, yada, yada. And I need to let just be like, no. And I have, I have people now saying like, you know, Sebastian doesn't make sense. I don't give a crap. Um, because that's where I've been pulled to. Every time I turn around, I'm pulled up the river, up the river constantly, up the river, and I end up at this spot. I go by Mount Juliet and I end up here every single time. And it's a pool. It's a pool. It's a yank. Just like in Elijah, that yank to the fireplace the, that fire fireplace right there at the dam um i ended up over there a million times and the same thing is happening with sebastian i'm ending up in that spot i don't care if it makes sense whoever thought that katrina karina whatever her freaking name is with elijah will put him right next to the farm that she used to live on 
that was another thing i thought well that's that's like stupid that like makes no sense like why would she do that so that was another thing that kind of like pulled me off so it's a constant fight with my mind and my feelings like it's like all the all the clues were there from all the readings if we go back to the readings we go back to the astrology it was all there including the freaking gravel pit or or whatever that place is called across from there like that came in as well so that should have been our first clue a place they knew etc so that's what we have to do is we have to take the puzzle pieces and i have to listen from the very beginning on because of my first readings are usually most accurate and then we take that and the astrology and go with my polls and see what happens so only way we're going to do it is if we look i mean and I'm not getting like she's in water, which is weird because I'm wondering if it was an interconnect before. I was getting a little confused by the fact she was in the water. And I think she did almost like she did have an accident at that point. Um, or she could kind of be, but it's again, it's not like I don't feel like I'm dropped. Like I explained the, what I'm seeing, like it's near a road. And there could be, again, a beachy area from the river, from next to a lake, next to something like that as well. But it's got to be near railroad, industrial, something. Like, that's got to be the area. That's the only place I see railroad tracks. And that came in several freaking times. And I don't know if it's right, but it's got to be. So, I don't know. I, like, I can't, I'm, I can't exactly pinpoint it. So, a psychics can get within miles. We can get things on the way and in the area, but it's very hard to pinpoint exactly an area. It's almost impossible. You don't know unless you go search, um, you know, but it's, I don't know if like she's going to be found randomly by someone. Cause it's almost like I'm getting the same feeling that I did with um, Elijah, but her Saturn's in retrograde, which it just went Saturn retrograde into Pisces. Um, I don't think it was in Pisces though. It's in, um, I got to get off here, man. I got to go do things. Her, her Saturn is in Aquarius. So, but it was retrograde. So again, our Saturn's our body. And so when it's in retrograde, there's delays always. So that's why you see a lot of these cases with the Saturn in retrograde, like their body aren't found or their body are found years later or something like that. Um, or there's something like really bad done to their body and they're hard to find. For some reason, those turbines are driving me absolutely nuts tonight. So, I don't know. I hope this makes sense, and I hope it's helpful, and I don't know. Whoever you think can help with it, if you guys can put the puzzle pieces together, because it's puzzle pieces in the area on the way. Puzzle pieces. Sometimes directions. It's always helpful. Sometimes directions. Sometimes um, descriptions. Directions and descriptions usually is how it works with me. Um. But there's something about, I am keep getting, like, the water, the, the road, like, curvy, like, the curvy along the river. It's definitely got to be near a river, because I remember I kept picking that up before. But it's still, it's still there. Um, and we pulled the river card, so it's got to be somewhere near. And that could be a creek. I don't have a creek card, so. But, I don't know, in this instance, where everything is. So, I don't know. I don't know, man. I got to get off here. Um, I'll see you guys next time.